How to cook the perfect frozen fries. While we mostly eat the potatoes we grow on our farm near the baby food capital of the world, Fremont, Michigan, we do eat some frozen French fries. Through experience, we learned an easy way of avoiding hard, burnt, unevenly cooked fries, and that is by lining the cookie sheet with crumpled aluminum foil. The foil also provides easier cleanup. Begin by preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever temperature the package recommends. Then tear off a length of aluminum foil to a length of about one and a half times the length of the cookie sheet. If the cookie sheet is 14 inches long, tear off about 21 inches length of foil. Crumple up the foil and after partially uncrumpling it, spread it on the pan as shown. Now dump out your frozen potato fries on the crumpled foil and spread them out evenly. To show the difference between the regular way of cooking frozen fries and the crumpled foil method, we also will be cooking a batch of fries using the standard method, just dumping the fries directly on a cookie sheet. Now we are comparing the two cookie sheets, one without foil and the other placing the frozen fries on crumpled foil. Which method do you think will make the better fries? Now we put the two pans with fries in an oven preheated to 400 degrees and we will cook them for about 23 minutes. After about 15 minutes of baking, we take the pan of fries, the one without the crumpled foil, and turn them over with a spatula. And then we put them back in the oven. If you don't turn them at least once, you'll probably have lots of hard fries to try and chew. After the 23 minutes were up, we took both pans of fries out of the oven. As you can see for yourself, the pan lined with the crumpled foil doesn't have burnt fries, while the other pan is quite a few. For even crispier fries, you can leave the pan with crumpled foil in the oven for a few more minutes. And while they will get a bit crisp, there shouldn't be any burnt fries.